Hey everybody, this is Kelly with Wild Woman Outdoors. I'm here on my daily hike. Let me get my glove back on. It's probably about 15 below zero with wind chill maybe. It's nice and sunny. Let me just get my glove on so I can hold it up. So I thought I'd talk a little bit today about how we all, on this planet, everything, uh, in my opinion, you might be religious or spiritual, or maybe even if you are religious, you might believe that the Great Spirit maybe started off with allowing this to begin. So I'm not trying to get into, you know, any kind of religious uh, discussion or even argument, but on this planet, we started off with single cell organisms called diatoms and they're the baseline of the of the ecosystem on planet earth and what's interesting is as humans we actually started off as an ancient bacteria that actually is now living inside of every cell in our body and now it's actually part of our body but it still acts a lot like an ancient bacteria and that is mitochondria and so our bodies are consisted of a series of cells which makes us a petri dish and so within inside of uh, our body these cells create, create cellular structures and they uh, eventually make up our organs and inside of each one of those cells is mitochondria which is the powerhouse of our bodies that create the ATC and go back to basics a lot of what we are ailed by stems from mitochondrial dysfunction. So if you feed your cells and you feed your mitochondria what it needs to survive, then you can cure any kind of disease or malady that you might be facing. So once again, we are our own petri dish and we need to listen to our bodies intuitively and if you don't know much about cells or how to feed mitochondria I can cover that in some other video as we are sunlight beings and so if you live in a northern climate like we do it's even more imperative in the winter months to get outside so you might not be receiving the most direct rays but our cells are fueled by light so our mitochondria need a few basic items to survive but one of the things that we forget about is they actually need light and so they've actually uh, proven and scientifically that when you add light to mitochondria they literally you know light up it's in a part of the spectrum that we can't see but they're gaining fuel from that so that's why we do a lot of uh, saunas Juno here, she even does some sauna with me. And so that red light, infrared light, you good girl. She's getting cold, I think, because we're stopping. Um, that red light fuels our cells in our body. So it can give you more energy than a lot of other things. And especially if you're sitting indoors and you're not getting enough light in your life, you can do that by, of course, you know, it's good to supplement with vitamin D3 and K2, but also you... Actually, my doctor, you know, you, you might have learned in the 1980s that, you know, cancer is a threat and to stay out of the sun and have lots of sunscreen. And now it's proven that sunscreen is carcinogenic unless you use something natural like coconut oil. When I did a survival TV series for a Japanese TV in the South Pacific, I learned from the indigenous people the only sunscreen they've ever used is coconut oil. And they eat it every day as well. And they have no... Uh, dementia or Alzheimer's in their population so I started using coconut oil but even if you don't have anything like when I was surviving in Africa in 112 degree Fahrenheit heat after coming from Alaska um, your body will adapt and eventually you know you will go you know you want to try to limit your doses you don't want to get sunburned but if you're out especially in the early morning light and the late evening light with your body you know with the sun touching as much of your body as you can then that will really help heal whatever you might be ailing a lot of people suffer from just sunlight deprivation 
And you can add uh, to that by, my doctor said to actually go to a tanning booth. He said that over 75% of uh, Americans are vitamin D deficient. And he said that me moving to Alaska, going from the cold climate of Michigan to Alaska, and then becoming a hard rock underground miner would put me very susceptible for a lot of metabolic shutdown. And he was right. So I'm going to have to keep this video short because my little poochie here is ready to run again. So, uh, But I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. And we can cover mito mitochondria a little bit later. And I'll probably do one more a live video after she warms up a little bit. So enjoy the view. Also, red light therapy like the Juve light is probably the best one if you want to do that. And you can also get infrared light. Uh, by saunas, whether it's a finished sauna, cold sauna, wet sauna, or uh, even far infrared or near infrared light. So even if it's not in the visible spectrum for humans, it's actually creating uh, light for your cells. So get outdoors, go wild, follow your wildest dreams.